In the video, Build a Macro Focus Rail to Shoot Image Stacks, I was using an RF triggering device on the camera and the flash was mounted on a receiver. These devices have channel selectors, so multiple cameras won't interfere with each other, although not necessary for this project. The receiver also has a PC flash connector, which was connected to the triggering input of the Arduino through the 3.5 mm jack. I used this setup because I had the parts from previous projects and I wanted a setup in which I didn't need to touch the camera while shooting. The cable I used to connect the receiver to the Arduino input is a 3.5 mm to male flash PC sync cable, available on Amazon. What if you don't have all those parts? I can't cover options for all cameras, so I will present a few that work with my cameras. The SB24 has lots of automatic features with Nikon cameras. They don't work with the Sony. However, in manual mode, it works just fine with the Sony. Why not just use the built-in Sony flash? Well, we still need to trigger the Arduino, and the Sony has no PC flash connector. However, the Nikon flash does have a PC connector, which is triggered when the flash goes off with the Sony hot shoe. And with the Nikon flash, I can point the flash in any direction and set it to spread the flash by manually setting the focal length of the lens it is set for. Okay, what if your camera or flash doesn't have a connection that will connect to the Arduino trigger? There are devices which you can add to the hot shoe to provide a PC connection and allow you to use your flash on top of it. Here is a Pixel TF-322 I can use with my Nikon SB600 Speedlight. These converters are available for many cameras. What about cameras that have a built-in flash and no connection for an external flash and no hot shoe, like my Nikon P610? Well, you could just connect a push-button switch to the trigger input of the Arduino and press the shutter release and have a few second delay to let the camera settle before shooting. Then press the button to advance the camera. Repeat for the number of frames you want. I know this isn't too elegant, but it works because that is what I did while designing this project. However, there is another way. For a few dollars, you can get an optical flash slave trigger. It has a PC jack to connect to the Arduino trigger input. It can be used to fire an external flash, and the internal flash on your camera can trigger the slave, as you can see here. I covered the slave lens with yellow paper so it wouldn't overwhelm the exposure, and froze the flash frame so you could see both flashes. If your built-in flash provides proper lighting, you may not need an external flash since the slave can trigger the Arduino without any flash attached. I hope this video has provided some suggestions for how you could trigger the Arduino in the Build a Macro Focus Rail to Shoot Image Stacks video. If you enjoyed the video and perhaps found it useful, please subscribe. Thank you for viewing.